I'ma break every box and try to put me in. I got a lot of enemies who used to be my friend. Judge Homer. Hello, everybody. It's Nooney. Um, today's video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be like more of like informational and learning. According to the title, we're gonna be exploring different religions because I really have no idea what any of them are about. I just know there's a god and there's a set of karmatic rules that if you cross those lines, then you're gonna go to hell. I never read the Bible. It has been a little bit since I've uh, actually done a video. I've been sick. I actually had to go to the hospital because I couldn't breathe. So they got me on like medication. Where's my inhaler? They got me an inhaler. We're gonna be exploring religions and this video is gonna be, hold up, let me grab the book. I wanted to add a little bit of information from Google that I found. The true definition of the Bible is it's a book sacred to Christians, which they consider to be inspired of the word of God. The Ten Commandments are a literal list of laws from God handed to Moses to be given to his people to obey. One, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not worship false idols, only worship God. You shall not say the Lord's name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Honor thy mother and father. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. No lying at the expense of others. His lessons to the followers genuinely include warning about judging others, teaching regarding forgiveness, caring for one's neighbor, loving even one's enemy warning regarding treasuring material things warning regarding pride and lust the main concept of christianity aka the bible christians believe that jesus christ was the son of god fully divine fully human and that though belie through believing him and following his teachings they can inherit eternal life christians believe that jesus died for humanity that god raised him from the dead and that would Jesus will come at the end of time. A main fact about Christianity, Christians believed in one God that created heaven, earth, and the universe. The belief in one God originated with the Jewish religion. Christians believed Jesus is the Messiah or savior of the world. They also believe he is the son of God. So here's the original one, I just found it. I have it. And it was given to me by a pastor and his wife when I went to church. Oh, this is scary. This is so it, this is so much information. Like I feel like religion is just metaphors for people that have lived life that are trying to tell those stories right now. It's like a message, you know what I mean? It's so balanced. Genesis. So I got this little bookmark too. He has everything beautiful. Wait, he has made everything beautiful in its time. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put a man who had formed and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life. Oh, this is a good one. The tree of life. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil and the river went out to eden to water the garden and from thence it was parted and became into four heads i don't know about you but i'm very confused right now what is going on i'm gonna skip over to line 15 because it's talking about like gold and I don't really care about that gold part. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden and dressed it. Wait. The garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. The Lord God commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat for in a day that thou eat, eatest therefore thou shat it is not good that a man should be alone i will make 
him and help me for him. And out of the ground, the Lord, blah, 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 blah. the Lord God formed every beast in the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name thereof, Adam gave names to all the cattle and fowl of the air for every beast of the field. For Adam, there was not found and helped meet for him. The Lord God called, caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. AKA meditation, that's meditation. And he took one of his ribs, ribs and closed up the flesh instead, therefore, and the rib which the God, the Lord God had taken from the man, which he, whoa, mm -mm. he took a man's rib and made a woman. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wait, but what does that mean? I'm trying to think. Okay, let me just keep reading. He, a woman, and brought her onto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because he was taken, because she was taken out of a man. Oh, red flag girl. That's true. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave his woman, his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked. The man and his wife were not ashamed. Every other sentence is confusing besides him, that one sentence. Chapter three. Whew. Okay, let's take, a, let's take a little break. I need to take a break. God came to the earth, right? He did everything, he put everything in place. Missed it down, made a man. Took a rib from the man's body and made a woman. I can't get over that part, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I wanna believe it, but I don't. I don't get it, I just. They don't correlate. I don't see how a man can ever, if anything, a woman made a man, right? Because women give birth. They're the birth givers of the earth. Now I'm just spitting facts. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm just reading. <sighs> Chapter three. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat. Whoa. I believe that part. <laughs> and the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Aye. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes should be opened, and ye shall be as God's knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and it was pleasant for the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, well, this turned into a cat and a half book. She took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. And the eyes of both of them, they were open and they were and they knew they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. 
And then they heard the voice of Lord God walking to the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of God amongst the trees in the gardens. And God and the Lord God called unto Adam. Hold up, this is where it's getting good. I need to. This is where it's getting good. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's probably going to be really... It's going to be a short video, because... Religion is a lot. Religion is a lot. And there's so many religions. I want to read them all! I want to read them all. I want to understand all the religions. I want to see what's in common with each religion. Hold up, y'all. It's getting good. So they were hiding. They were hiding from God... Probably because they were guilty of eating the fruit and going against what he said. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? How thou hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I command thee that thou shottest? not eat and the man said the woman whom thou gavest to me wow he just threw her under the bus wow we i'm so confused how does eating the plant how does eating the apple or whatever off the tree that god said not to eat open their eyes for them to be like conscious enough to know that they're naked and have like want to cover themselves up that that is something that my brain is not going to do right now I don't know why I'm so fucking confused and the Lord said behold the man is becoming is be Come as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and also and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Okay. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and placed him in the east of the Garden of Eden. Corundins. And flaming sword which turned every way to keep the to keep the way of the tree of life. Chapter 4. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain. And said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she said, she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. In the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought the firstling of his flock and the fat and of the fat thereof and the lord had respect unto abel and to his offer but unto cain to his offer he had not respect Ooh, because that's that tree that's that tree he told him Ooh, ooh. he wasn't there for that though and cain was very wroth and his count his countenance fell and the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? Fallen. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Hold up. The T is T in right now. Was Cain jealous? Hold up. 
Cain said, uh-uh. Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. I am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? Oh, oh, shit's getting real. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The voice of thy brother blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Okay. So, recap. Eve conceived Cain first. And then Abel. Cain went out, got fruits for God. It was like, hey, you like my fruits? God was like, you weren't here for that, but no, uh-uh, do better. And then Abel was flocking with the animals. He was like helping the animals, so he was praised more. Well, he wasn't praised more, he was just, ah, oh, it's so fucking complicated, dog. He wasn't, he was, he wasn't under the fire of Cain because of his ignorance of not knowing that the fruit and the past of the fruit. It's just bro. So then he killed him. Cain killed him because he got jealous. And Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone in, everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said un, un, unto him, Therefore, whoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him seven, sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding should kill him. Because that's a sin. Killing is a sin and killed his brother because of the intrusive thoughts of the freaking apples. I think that's... I'm gonna do today it's a lot that and I don't really understand it this is the King James version by the way there's a hundred different versions of the Bible that I probably would never keep up with which I probably should because I have a long time of being on the earth but it's good to read <laughs> I just know it's good to believe in something and I believe in I believe in the good I believe in the yin yang of the world. We can't have good without bad and we can't have bad without good. Unfortunately. I mean, we can't have good. Actually, it's probably a myth. If everything went good, everything would just go good. Our good is just processed through a lot of stuff. Ooh, I had not gone to church for a little bit and me and my coworkers were having a deep conversation and he was like, you wanna, you wanna believe in a higher power, you wanna do all this, but you're not willing to sit down and read about it. And I was like, he's kind of speaking facts, he's speaking facts. Is it in reality, I don't think everybody, I don't think everybody will know how earth came i don't think there was a how or anything i think it just was i don't know i gotta go reevaluate your way my life though i just wanted to read a little bit of the bible with you because i know there's some people on here that believe in god or believe in some sort of higher power and it's all going to be introduced into my channel Cause I want to learn about everything. I want to learn about Jesus. I want to learn about fucking 
everything. It's not gonna be looking at the video like, can you even read? But like, I tried, I tried to read it. It's very confusing. Doom. The next one I do wanna get into is Buddhism. Um, if there's any other religions that you would like me to learn about, get to know, please put them down in the comments below. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. Even though I've been like MIA. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.